What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Screen 7. We'll be talking about Until Dawn, the upcoming film. We'll be talking about I Know What You Did Last Summer, the upcoming third film. I, well, actually, I, I'll just say the fourth. It's the, it's the fourth, unfortunately. And then we'll talk about Jeepers Creepers. So let's just start off here with Until Dawn. Until Dawn's cast has grown with this report from the Hollywood Reporter we got a few days ago. Maya Mitchell, Belmont... Com Camelli and Peter Starmer have joined the cast of Until Dawn, Sony Screen Gems, and PlayStation Productions feature adaptation of the hit horror video game. Now, I believe Peter was Dr. Hill in Until Dawn, so that this is actually a return. It seems to be an exception to what is expected to be an all-new story. Sandberg, the director, actually ended up doubling down on what he had been saying over on Instagram, even though I still see people online in denial about this aspect. It says, he said this to The Hollywood Reporter about the movie and the plot that's still under wraps. Capturing the essence of the game, but with new characters, it serves as a great standalone introduction to the world for the newcomer as well as offers something new that fans of the game will enjoy. Now, one of the rumored potential new things that they think fans will enjoy is this time loop or death loop that the characters will find themselves stuck in. There you have a certain amount of times they can die, and if you die, a certain amount of times you'll be dead for good so you have that aspect it doesn't seem to have anything to do with wendigos like i said before it's rumored to be centered on these two siblings that have lost their mother uh one sibling is just a homebody in response to that death they're afraid to live and yeah we'll just wait and see if that's exactly what fans will enjoy but like i said all over on twitter hollywood has a very bad problem of doing what they think we deserve and what they think we want versus what we actually want they do what they want us to have and that's what they do more times than you can count so diving into scream 7 nav campbell doubled down on some returns that are happening in scream 7 recently she did this during an interview with extra tv now the obvious two again like i said all those times ago she said it initially i still think she is referring to courtney and patrick but it seems a potential hayden pantier kirby reed return is picking up steam online once again since hayden allegedly told the fans she'd love to return during a recent convention or some type of appearance she had recently which i don't know anything about because i don't look up stuff like that if there's a role for kirby that doesn't feel out of place without the core four then sure bring her in i guess I got my Kirby fix fulfilled by finding out she's, she's alive in five and having her back in six. I'm fine if Kirby never returns, but like I've said in the past, we may see a Kirby TV show in the future, and you might have another member of the Core Four involved with this TV show is all I'll say. Campbell also made comments about some exciting new arrivals to the film as well. All will be revealed in good time. We know that Wes Craven's birthday just passed. Happy belated birthday to Wes Craven. And we didn't get a damn thing. So Spyglass will fill us in when the time is right. And with the current climate surrounding this film, dropping your cast may not be the best idea unless you have instructed your cast to take certain measures across their social media pages. Now, when thinking of stars like Nev Campbell, Patrick Dempsey, and Courtney Cox, they might be able to weather the storm. So you're probably going to find out about them first the newbies though the ones that tend to be online more assuming they're in the gen z millennial demographic those people tend to be on social media a lot more and they might be facing a lot of backlash and they not they might not be able to handle all of that backlash so there definitely might be things in place to prevent chaos from happening with the cast and one of the biggest ways to prevent chaos from happening with your cast is to just not reveal them i don't think we're going to find out the cast until they are filming i think they're going to give us a final destination six treatment and then we'll find out when filming is underway and those people will have all of their social media pages locked down but let's talk about i know what you did last summer brandy has revealed that she is actually down to return for I Know What You Did Last Summer and is claiming she wasn't even aware of the new project, which doesn't make me confident she'll have a significant role. Now, she told this to The Hollywood Reporter. She said, I didn't know Sony was putting that together. That's interesting. And she said, I'm not pulling a fast one on you. I did not know that. She says, I need them to give me a call because I survived in that movie. I came out in the end, bloodied up, ready to go. I did not die in that film. She then added jennifer freddie hit me up so i don't expect carla to have any major role despite surviving at surviving 
At best, I can see her having a lazy video call return for nostalgia purposes or something just thrown together last minute. Those involved with the film did start following Brandy on Instagram, so it seems like they were about to hit her up and make something happen. But like I said, it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything significant or worthwhile. It's going to be something cheap and nostalgic just to have people say, oh, Carla was in the movie. Okay, but was Carla significant? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt Carla's going to be of much significance. And I get that some people feel like certain characters coming back doesn't always have to be the biggest thing. I just feel like why make so much fuss about it? And then all I get of something I want to see is a cheap cameo appearance like that's is that really what i wanted or did i want the character to be utilized in a significant fashion especially considering carla gave us one of the greatest chase scenes in the horror genre i don't know man i just i just don't think a cameo is necessary i think if you're going to bring carla back bring her back to do something significant it's just been a long time so if she didn't even appear because i think she's going to appear now i just think it's going to be cheap all of the people important people anyway like the director have started following brandy on instagram so something seems to be in the works i just don't find it necessary for Carla to return because it's been such a long time uh the big necessity that they've been talking about is obviously julie since she's at the center of the first two so julie is more of a necessity than carla i don't see anything significant happening with this return that we're about to get that doesn't mean it won't be won't be fun to see brandy brandy did a phenomenal job in that film it just wouldn't be a big deal if she didn't make make a return just like how it wasn't a big deal that kirby wasn't in screen five the last thing we're going to talk about here is jeepers creepers so apparently jonathan breck at monster mania told someone shout out to you josh <laughs> that netflix was interested in a tv show continuation of jeepers creepers at one time and that he's hoping at some point everyone can come to an agreement because what he had heard about it sounded like it will flesh out the world so well he also said there's a lot of complicated things holding it back right now and that he's still not getting any younger. Now, obviously, some of those complicated things might be the lawsuit that he might be aware of. It might be the complications surrounding the fact that no one wants to do Jack with Victor Salva, nor do I think that Victor Salva should be involved with anything going forward as far as we getting us getting a proper new Jeepers Creepers iteration. But it's nice to know that he made mention of Netflix. I don't know when this interest would have been other than maybe 2017 to 2019 around the time of when jeepers creepers 3 was in the works and getting ready to be released but you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video